they'll get these vipers and make them bite people, children and adults. Fake healing scheme when there's no scientific evidence behind it. Hey, it's Jazz and this is Wildlife Matters and this is a Tropidolemus sabanolatus or a Bornean keeled pit viper, also known as a keel throated pit viper. It has a lot of common names. You can actually find them in other parts of Southeast Asia as well, but this in particular is a juvenile Luzon locality. So I said juvenile, which means this one's still a baby and it will grow much bigger than that. Now, they're often mistaken for the endemic Philippine pit vipers, but they're actually different species. And we'll actually do a video showing you how to differentiate them both. But these guys are completely different, different genes different species. Here in the Philippines, un unfortunately, they are also known as the miracle snake because there are parts in the Philippines that catch like hundreds of these and make a business out of like some sort of he fake healing scheme. So they'll get these vipers and make them bite people, children and adults and fool people into thinking that they can actually heal when there's no scientific evidence behind it. At nakakaawa din kasi Come on, imbis na mabuhay sila ng payapa sa wild, hinuhuli sila at kinukulong para lang araw-araw kumagat ng tao. Di ba kawawa naman yun? And so, that being said, yes, they are venomous. They have mostly neurotoxic venom, but not a lot of recorded fatalities. So they're not really considered as something that would easily kill you. Of course, disclaimer, there are special cases. Chances are low, but never zero. Huwag niyo na rin isugal, di ba? But these guys are very slow. They like to hang out in high places on top of trees compared to other pit vipers in the Philippines na hang out in shrubs. These guys spend most of their time way up in the trees. Compared to the other subanolatus we'll find in other parts of the Philippines, the ones you'll find in Luzon are also significantly smaller. Now I'll show you some pictures of other, let's just call it T-sub from now on, okay? So I'll show you other pictures of T-subs from other parts of the Philippines and you can see how big they get and how they vary in coloration as well. They're really beautiful species of snake. So they actually have a unique way of hunting because they have heat sensing pits on the front of their face, right beside their nostril. So when they hunt, it's not like yung mga ibang snakes that use their vision. Sila, they can see heat signatures, para siyang infrared vision. So they can actually sense the heat of their prey items instead of just completely relying on sight. Since they are arboreal or tree dwellers, they'll usually feed on prey items that usually hang in trees as well. So those are your birds, lizards, frogs, and small mammals. And another interesting thing about them is these ones give live birth. Nanganganak po sila. Isn't that cool? Even though they are venomous, we don't need to be afraid of them. Hindi natin sila kailangan katakutan. Kasi they are very slow. And even if you do go out into the forest, they're usually way up in the trees, hard for us to reach. Dinipat lang namin dito so you guys can get a closer look. At the end of the day, they want nothing to do with us. As you can see, it doesn't even want anything to do with me. Let's protect the Tropidolemus subanolatus because every piece of wildlife matters.